welcome back. I'm going to start a new project series here. Um, I have this old, this box of old uh, vacuum tubes that I got online a while back. Quite a bit. And I said I wanted to make a uh, transmitter. Old tube transmitter. But I'm not going to uh, copy somebody's original circuit. I'm going to make my own. So I'm starting with the oscillator. Now, going through the list of everything I have in this box, I uh, have several 6AG7s. And this would make a good oscillator for a transmitter. So I started with this circuit. And I mocked it up on a board. Tested it out. I have some, you know, transforms and stuff sitting around. So I tested it out. It's does indeed oscillate where it's supposed to on um, this crystal here. Uh, you can see it there with the light. 7.118 oscillates real well. Next will be uh, an amplification stage, but I'm going to take this now that I know that it works. And I have an old radio chassis that I painted cleaned up black sides uh, I took the transformer and uh, repainted the top because it was pretty bad so it looks all nice so I'm going to start mounting everything in here so I'll start I'll put the uh, oscillator tube here um, I'm going to do two 6v6s over here. I am going to do a tube regular, uh, a voltage regulator over here instead of doing uh, diodes because I want to go all tube. And uh, once I start uh, transmitting, and then I'll start adding more and more stuff to it, more stages, and see how far I can go with this thing. But I did go and go ahead and wire up. The oscillator, flip this around, down here, and there's that, there's that trimmer cap that I was telling about. Um, went ahead and ran it through uh, a little makeshift power supply that I had, and it it did well. I could hear it on the on through the dummy load. Not the dummy, I didn't have an antenna yet, but just, just the oscillation itself was picking up on my radio. So that was working. Now um, I want to go with an original tube rectifier. So there's a 5U. I'm not sure that's what I think it is. Uh, where are you? There you go. 5U4. So I started wiring that in here, and that circuit, I drew it here, and that's the circuit for the power supply. So transform here will go in through a switch and a fuse, going through the transformer, there's a 5U4 here. 5 volts comes in for the heater. This gets rectified, comes up through here. Now I'm going to do a um, high voltage switch with a pilot light before it goes, so I can turn that on and off before it goes into the uh, filter stage here. And then the heaters, 6 volt, and I'll have a green light to indicate that the filaments are on. Now this old radio chassis did have had this transformer, several sockets, and it did have a coil here. It's a little funky. Take it out here so I can show you. I set it in there for now, but it looks like they coated the thing with tar, so I might. I'm deciding whether or not I'm going to clean that up or just order another one. I mean, it'll still work. I tested it. <clears throat> Put 
put it on ohm meter. It's, it's fine. It's not open. Um, so I can use it. It just looks a little ugly. It's going to be under here. I'll decide what I want to do. Um, got several extra caps to make the, the filter section. So that'll be next. So far, this is where we're at. Get in there. So, so far, power transformer, 5v4, the uh, oscillator here. The, the ultimate goal with this is not just to do CW, I'd, I'd like to also do AM um, modulation too. So, I'll be learning all these circuits as I go. I mean, I've done some repairs on radios, so I know a little bit about the circuits. I've only done a couple transmitters. But this will be my my first step to to learn each circuit as it goes and how it's affected in the circuit as you start adding stuff through it. So there we go. Uh, hopefully the next uh, the next video I'll have um, probably hopefully the next the the amp stage out and then we can probably test the CW portion of it and go from there.